Hi, welcome to another video. Today's topic is the average rate of change. And we're going to be looking at another example. Example number two. We are going to determine the average rate of change of the function f of x, which equals 2 to the x. And we're going to look at this over the interval from minus 2 to 3. Now, if you have an opportunity, one of the things you should always do is draw a graph. It's not required for the solution, but it gives you a nice visual picture of what you're doing algebraically. So here's our graph. Um, let me insert the point at minus 2. I'll just uh, reference that. I'll insert the other point at x equals 3. And let me just reference that. And again, what we're trying to do is look at the difference in the x. That's this value here, delta x. And the difference in the y, or the difference in the f of x, which is this distance over here, and the average rate of change is delta f over delta x, or the rise over the run, or the slope of this secant line. So let's jump into the algebra. Our equation, the average rate of change, is equal to delta f over delta x, which is just f of 3 minus f of minus 2 over 3 minus minus 2. Uh, make sure that you keep the right order. Let's do some algebra by inserting these guys into the function and do some house cleaning. Oh, and there we go. I get the value 31 over 20 or 1.55. So that is the average rate of change of our function over this interval, but it's also equal to the slope of that secant line between those two points. Now, before we leave, I just want you to think about something. Looking at the interval from minus 2 to 3 and looking at the slope of that secant line, is there a tangent line between x equals minus 2 and x equals 3 that has exactly the same slope as the slope of the secant line, which is the average rate of change? That is, if I take my secant line and I slide it parallel so it touches my curve, my function, like this, ah, and we notice that it touches, and the two lines are in fact parallel. Therefore, in this situation, the slope of the secant and the slope of this tangent line are the same. I wonder if this is always the case. If you have a function and you've calculated the average rate of change between two points, does there have to be a tangent line between those two points that has exactly the same slope? Something for you to think about. Thank you for watching.